Hi, Yogans. This is Amanda Shepard. Welcome to Play Along Practice. I'm delighted to have you coming back to practice with me. And um, we'll be doing a level two, three uh, flow probably today. Check the description to see where we go. Um, and that's about it. Let's get started. Usual suspects for props. Blanket, a couple blocks and a strap. And yeah, let's start laying on our backs today. Bring my blanket over here. Some days I have an idea where I'm going and some days I don't and today is an I don't. Um, you can always support with blocks on the outside of your legs or uh, roll up your blanket like a cannoli and bring the place around your ankles and bring the um, ends in, uh, in between if you want that extra support. But I'm just going to start in an unsupported Supta Baddha Konasana, um, reclined, wide angle, bound wide angle. Take a nice deep inhale in, exhale through the mouth. And just check in, notice all your sensations, right? Where's your head space, your emotional space, and your physical space. If you have any risks or injuries, you're gonna make a point to be nice to yourself. And if you have some of the other distractions like the, like the um, intellectual or emotional, allow yourself to send some nurturing kindness to those sensations too. Maybe name what's going on and let it go. Always allow your uh, reclined positions to be comfortable, right? So if your neck is jutting up and you have this, you have a um, kind of a more extraordinary uh, lordotic curve in your cervical spine, you can take your blanket and fill that space, right? And just allow it to come to the top of your shoulders and it should feel more comfortable, okay? Now, if that's not you, then you don't need it. But if it's hard for you to keep your chin level, then try that one, right? Let's take a couple breaths here. As you exhale, allow the knees come to come together, draw the knees into the chest, and let's cross that right ankle over the left knee like a curtsy, right? And just see if you can find kind of a Garudasana leg. Right arm underneath the left, giant hug, drawing your shoulders down, lifting the elbows, maybe palms together, back of the hands is fine too. Nice deep inhale here as you exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend. Try to tap the, imagine there's a wall there, tap it with your left foot. Exhale, come on in. Back through center as I exhale, I'm gonna take a twist. Exhaling to the right. Inhaling to center. Third time. And I'm gonna come and get those elbows to the inside, right? Reach those arms out like a T, maybe let the legs open. Oh, just hit the floor. Um, reach those arms out, toes turning out, and maybe find your chola. Nice deep inhale here as you exhale. Bring the feet overhead. Inhale to a wide angle Navasana. Sternum to sky. Exhale, roll it out. Inhale, sternum to sky. Exhale, roll it up. Last time. 
lifting on up. Exhale, rolling it out. And I'm going to let the left knee come over the right. Finding a curtsy cross, maybe uh, Garudasana arm, left arm underneath the right. Maybe palms together. Couple breaths. Exhale, find your crunch. Tap the wall at the front, at the top of your mat with your uh, right foot. Back through center, come to the twist to the left. And twisting to the right, taking three reps. Back through center, I'm gonna unwind, nice wide angle forward fold, maybe finding my toe lock. overhead and inhale wide angle navasana sternum to sky as i exhale i'm going to let the left heel come down and lift it back up let the right leg come down hovering lift it back up Bring the legs together. I'm gonna to let the left leg come down and just find a nice um, swaddling the baby with my right. Sorry, got like I just dusted the floor and somebody stuck me. Take up nice and tall. If you're not feeling the stretch outside the hip, exhale. Come on down. Breaching the inner right knee away from the body as I step the foot into my um, left elbow. And then I'm gonna take Arha Ananda Balasana. I'm gonna reach the right elbow through and grab my calf. And just bring that knee over the shoulder just to see what that feels like. It's beginning of class, so it doesn't need to be particularly intense. And take a nice deep inhale here and maybe bring that left ankle over the right. Take up your center, reach my left elbow through and see if I could just get the knee towards the shoulder, breathing here. Spread the collarbones. And I'm gonna find my toe lock and reach those legs out to the side. Feet overhead. Inhale, lifting up. Good. As I exhale, I'm gonna bring the right foot down. And just start to rock the baby. Breathing here. Try to let the shin come more parallel to get a little bit more into the hip. And if it's not enough, scoop the belly in, lay it down. Gently try to bring that foot across the body. Stepping into your right elbow, and you'll start to feel it stretch a little bit more on the outside there. Good, Artha Ananda Balasana, half happy baby. And just see if you can reach your arm inside, grab your calf. Maybe get the idea of bringing that shoulder underneath. Allow the right ankle to come on up. Spread the collarbones here. Good, find your toe lock, reach those legs out to the side. 
Exhale, feet overhead, inhale. Uh, wide angle Navasana. And then I'm gonna let the um, right leg come down. I'm gonna fold the left knee and just open up to a seated Paradasana. Breathing here. Find a twist, nice twist. Bringing the belly button over that left knee. And you might stay here, might be enough, maybe. You're going to let that right shoulder come right inside the knee and reach that left arm up and over. Notice if you're lifting your ribs, see if you can draw them into the body and then rotate, right? So let your right ribs move into the sun. It's finally summer here. Gosh, it's such a long winter. Breathing up here. As I exhale, I'm gonna step that left foot over the right and fold the right heel back. And just find another twist, same direction. Arhamatya and Dawson. Any hand variation you like. I think for this time I might just grab the foot. Sitting so up nice and tall as I exhale. I'm gonna bring my hands right under my shoulders, all 10 fingers facing the left side of the mat. Come onto your right shin. Twisted scissors, eight kapata kundinyasana, A. Right foot comes down, left heel reaches out, and just open it up for a seated paradasana. Belly buttons over that right knee. And then if you want to go further, you can grab your thigh with your left hand. And keep rotating as you bring your shoulder underneath, right on the inside of the knee. Allow yourself to keep rotating as you lengthen the spine. Let it lift you up, and as you exhale, right foot steps over the left, fold the left heel back. Arhamatsi and Drasin, half Lord of the Fishes pose. shoulder. Look over the left shoulder. And then let your gaze go. You're going to plant your hands, all 10 fingers facing the right side of your mat. Grip the floor with your hands as you spread the collarbones. And then float it out, reaching the heels away from each other. Left foot comes down. Let's take Urdhva Paschimottanasana. Nice deep inhale here. As I exhale, I'm gonna rock and roll to come to Uttanasana. So I exhale back and inhale forward. Ardha Uttanasana, exhale Uttanasana, forward fold. <coughs> take your head out, reach your arms out to the side, do your wrist circles as you come all the way up. Forward Vasasana, exhale, Samastihi. Just find your Tadasana at the top of the mat. I'm gonna breathe nice and easy and move this out of the way. Inhale, reach the arms up, grab the right arm with your left and just lift out of all four sides of the waist. Nice lateral stretch. Back up through center. I'm going to pat myself on the back with the right hand. Reach that left arm out to the side and turn the palm up for Govakasana Heart. 
draw those low ribs, knit them together and up and inhaling into a little back bend. Exhale, folding in, unwinding. Shake your head yes and no. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, flat out your palms. Chaturanga Dandasana. Cobra or upward facing dog. And exhale, I like to bring the shins down and go out into a puppy pose. Forehead and tip of the nose down, keep the belly in and maybe chest and chin if that's available. And push into your hands, come back through center. Maybe finding a couple cat cows, being sure to keep the belly button into the spine. And back through center, reach that left arm out to the left and as you exhale, thread it through. Walk the right hand forward. Any variations? So I like to bring the heel towards the outer hip first to stretch out through the quads and then kick the foot into the hand. Okay. And I'm gonna reach the arm further behind me to ignite the extension. As I exhale, I'm gonna reach that Hand forward and let's reach that right leg way out to the side, up towards the top of your mat. And then in, exhale, reach behind. Inhale, way out to the side. Exhale, reach it behind. Last time. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to walk that right hand next to my face. And then find Gomukhasana. If you prefer the Ashtanga one, go ahead and do that. That's fine. Reaching that right hand up and around, pat yourself on the back. And reaching that left arm out to the side, same arm. Same here. Nice deep inhale here. As I exhale, I'm gonna unwind and just fold that right heel back. Step that left foot next to the knee. Arham Matsyandrasana. Sitting up nice and tall, looking over the left shoulder, looking over the right shoulder. And this time when I come back through center, I'm going to make a number four. Right ankle over that left knee. And I'm gonna take my twist to the other side, reaching the left arm to sky as I exhale. I'm gonna twist, I'm trying to get that shoulder all the way across, reaching out with that left leg. Back through center, I'm gonna reach the hands forward, scooching the toes around the right arm and getting that left shin into my left armpit. Nice deep inhale here, I'm gonna try and keep that. Eight to Padigala Vatsan. Maybe bring the head down, lift on up, or Lukasta Shirshasana. Nice deep inhale here. As I exhale, just gonna hinge at the hips, shoulder blades away from the ear. Let the feet hover. And imagine I have roller skates on. Chakaranga Dandas. Inhale, cover up dog. Exhale, Adho Mukhasana, downward facing dog. Few breaths. Big toes to touch, lift the heels, set your gaze, bending the knees, and feet come forward. Ooh. Try to slow it down. Inhale, extend the spine. Exhale, fold. Arms out to the side. Wrist circles the odd way. Forward lift, Exhale, Samastiti. 
reaching that left arm to sky. I'm going to grab the wrist. Lift out of all four sides of the waist. Nice lateral stretch. Exhale back through center. Keeping the hip points in. Pat yourself on the back. Keeping the breath easy. Not worry about fingers touching or anything like that. Right. Letting the space between the rib cage get nice and long as you lift out of the waist and lift up. Little back bend. Exhale, fold. Unwinding when it feels right. Inhale, extend. Plant your palms, hover the heels. Chaturanga Dandasana, Cobra or Up Dog. And then as you exhale, scoop the belly in. Keep those hips over the knees as you glide the hands out. Let this back bend be in the upper back. Dropping the chest and keeping the belly button in the spine. Maybe come onto your fingertips. And then walk it back in. I'm gonna reach the right arm out to the right. As I exhale, I'm going to thread the needle, drawing the hands through, tucking those left toes, any variations. Maybe bend the knee, stretch out the quadriceps, and then invite the back bend. Gently release. I'm gonna reach that leg way out to the side. And then as I exhale, I'm gonna bring the foot behind me, touching the toes down at a diagonal. Leg comes way up, exhale, reach it back. Last time. And left hand next to your face. I'm gonna crawl myself back to go Mukhasana. Reaching the left arm up, same side. Pat yourself on the back. Right arm reaching around. Breathing here. Back the head in line with the sacrum, trying to wrap that left tricep towards the front of the room. Exhale, unwind. I'm going to bring that left heel closer to the sits bones. Right foot outside the knee. Arhamatsu and Drasana. Try to sit tall. Look over the right shoulder. Look over the left shoulder. Gently release. Coming on back, just make that. Number four, you're going to take your twist the other way. Right arm reaches the sky as you exhale. Try to like you're threading the needle, bringing that arm all the way across. Breathing here, reaching out through the right inner knee. And then grip the toes around your left arm. Try to get the right shin into your right armpit. Nice deep inhale here as I exhale. Take a pot of Galavasana. Shoulder blades away from the ear, head touches down. And then to tripod, nice and easy. That translation uh, transition is not particularly hard. So shoulder blades away from the ear. Roll your inner thighs in. Let those tootsies hover right over the floor. And then imagine you can just roll back. Chakarang Dandas. Inhale, Cobra Up Dog. Exhale, Adho Mukha Downward facing dog. Big toes touch, lift the heels, 
just bring your feet forward when you're ready. I like to bring the feet up when the body's empty of breath. So after the exhale. Inhale, extend the spine, exhale, fold. The circles to come up. Exhale, samastiti. Lateral stretch, right arm reaching up. Try not to crunch the left side waist, lift out of it. Back up through center. Konukasana arms. Exhale, diving in. Ardha Uttanasana. Chaturanga Dandasana. Or Bhagavad Kushkanasana. Exhale, puppy, float it out or glide it out. Back through center. Thread the needle. Find your variation. If you want to increase the back bend, go higher on the shin. And then gently release, bringing your toes way up. Exhale, bring them behind you. Inhale, way up. Exhale, bring them behind. Last time. Crawl it back for Gomukhasana. Okay. Same arm. Right heel in, unwind the arms. When it feels right, Ardha Matsyadrasana. Maybe reaching that left hand behind you. As you exhale, you can counter twist as you find your number four. And then reach that left arm to sky. And try to allow your foot to come right in towards the upper shoulder, towards the armpit. And then if it's available, Yogi Dandasana, you can also bind it up. All right? Looking over the Right fingertips. Nice deep inhale here. As you exhale, find that number four. Snuggle those toes around the right arm and come onto your shin to come forward. If you're getting a little sweaty, it's gonna be harder to keep those toes in. Reach that right leg back. Tripod coming on down. Maybe find Garudasana legs, snuggling the left knee around the right, shoulder blades towards the sky, nice deep inhale here as you exhale, knees to chest, inhale, try to stamp the sky with your right foot, exhale, knees to chest, inhale, lift, last time. Inhale, lift. Twist towards your right arm. As you exhale, allow the knee to come to the outside. You're gonna unwind the feet. And maybe, twisted scissors. Now push into your hands. Through your vinyasa. Scooting that left leg back. Upward facing dog. Exhale, Adha Mukha Downward facing dog. Big 
the toes to touch, pushing straight down into your mat. Exhale, bend the knee. And you're gonna bring the feet forward. Oh, I'm getting a little nervous because my hands are sweaty. Ardha Uttanasana, exhale Uttanasana, forward fold, arms out to the side, reach those arms up, Ordhvastasana, exhale Samasthiti. It's a nice warm day here. Reach those arms up, grab the left arm, absorb those ribs in, and reach across, lifting out of the right side waist. Breath up through center, Gomukhasana arms. up. Exhale, diving in. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, plant your palms. Exhale, glide it up, puppy pose. Maybe staying lifted on those fingertips. Knees stay right over the, or hips stay right over the knees. Inhale, back up. Reaching that right arm out to the sky. As you exhale, bring that arm through. Reach that left hand around, lifting up. And then kicking the foot into the hand. Nice deep inhale here as you exhale. It looks like a delivery, but reach that leg across. Exhale, reach it back around. Inhale across, exhale down. Inhale across, exhale down. And drop back. Coming back. Sorry, one minute. Or you can just leave it if that's okay. And I'm going to reach the right arm to sky. Reach that hand around. And then as I exhale, you can stay there. Coming on down. As I exhale, I am going to. No, I'm on the wrong leg. Yeah. Uh, right arm up and over, breathing here. Gomukhasana, nice deep inhale here. As I exhale, I am going to bring that right foot next to my sits bones, left foot next to the knee, Ardha Matyandrasana, reaching that left arm around. Breathing here. Maybe reaching the right hand around for a, kind of a half bind. You can do a full bind if that's available to you. Exhale, come on around. I'm gonna find my number four. Breathing here and reach that right arm to sky as I exhale. I'm gonna reach that hand across, kind of like threading the needle. You want that foot to be right in your armpit, right in the shoulder. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just going to reach around and let my right hand grab the right knee, reaching the left hand over the knee. Yogi Nandasana. You can always 
always do like a kind of half bind to reach the right hand underneath if that, that's a little more accessible. Reaching that hand across, finding my number four. I'm gonna scooch the toes around the arm. Reach that hand through, nice deep inhale here. As I exhale, I'm uh, bringing the shin to the floor and I'm just gonna find my uh, Akapata Galavasana. Okay. Reaching that left leg back, top of the head comes down. And just lift up. Right knee draws to the chest. Guard asana arms. Keep the belly in. All right, sorry, guard asana legs. These are legs. Nice deep inhale here. As I exhale, right knee into the chest. Stamp the floor with your left foot. Right. Then I'm gonna twist. I'm gonna unwind my legs. And as I fold, I wanna bring that right knee way up towards above the elbow on that left arm. Reach the legs out. And then I'm gonna lift from the left inner thigh and scooch the right leg back. Forward Vemakrishvanasana. Exhale, Adho Mukhishvanasana. Downward facing dog. Exhale, bend the knees, bring the feet forward. Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold, arms out in a circle. Namaste. Shaking the hands up. We bend the knees, Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Plant those palms. Kriya Vinyasa. Left toes turn out. Step that right foot up. Kriya Vajrasana one. Right arm reaches behind you. Go Mukhasana arms, bending that left arm. You're gonna float it out. Virabhadrasana three. Let the left hand come underneath the shoulder. Right arm off to the side. Forward to Ardha Chandrasana. And as you exhale, bringing that left knee behind the right. Ardha Chandrasana off the mat. It is okay. Your center, find that number four. Right arm to sky, twisting across. Yogi Dandasan, if you want, otherwise, any version of that kind of prep variation. Feeding here. Then, as I exhale, I'm going to bring the foot back, bring my hands to the side of the mat. And grasshopper, Maksigasana, I think. Nice deep inhale here. I'm gonna let my arms come through the center, snuggling the toes around, and set it up for a Kapata Galavasana. Left shin comes down. Reach the left leg back. Top of the head comes down. 
Lifting up, I'm going straight into my Garudasana. Find my twist. Undo the legs. Going for Ekapada Kundinyasana A, Twisted Scissors. And oh, try to stamp the wall with that left leg. Through your vinyasa. Inhale, cobra up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Here we draw some one on the left side. Inhaling. Exhale, lift. Pivot that back heel. Float it forward. Here we draw some three. Right hand under the shoulder, Pavritta Ardha Shandrasana. Exhale, snuggling that right knee behind the left. Ardha Matsyandrasana. Breathe in here. Exhale. Find your number four, your setup for Yogi Dandasana. To allow the twist. Trying to extend the spine and let your left ribs move towards the right. Exhale, back to center. Try to keep that foot way high on the arm as you push into your right foot, all 10 fingers facing the right side of your mat, and just reach that right heel out to the side, grasshopper. Exhale, bring it back down, arms to sky, and then reaching them over. All right. Breathing here, set it up, right? Imagine you can roll a beach ball in to spread the collarbones as you bring your right chin to the floor, plant your palms, reach that right leg back. Back, Ekapada Galavasana. Top of the head comes down. Snuggle that left knee in front of the right. Breathing here. Nice deep inhale here as I exhale, I'm gonna twist. Unwind the legs. And then we want to reach that right leg straight back like I can stamp the wall behind me through your vinyasa. Inhale, cobra up dog. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Taking three to five breaths. Inhale, lift the heels, exhale, bend the knees. Bring the feet forward. Arha Uttanasana, exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Sink those hips as you bend the knees. Utkatasana, or Dvastasana, exhale, Samastihi. And take a minute, just let yourself breathe for a second in your Tadasana. Just checking the time. All right. Sink those hips as you bend the knees, Utkatasana. Exhale, Uttanasana, fold the knees. Arha Uttanasana. Through your vinyasa. I'm going to start with the uh, left leg first this time. Right toes turn out. Step that left leg up. Virabhadrasana 1. Left 
Shavasana arms floated out, Virabhadrasana, three. Pravrta Arda Matsyandrasana. Uh, sorry, Pravrta Arda Shandrasana. We're getting here. Exhale. Right knee snuggling behind the left, taking your time. Nice and soft, coming on down. Arhat Matsyandrasana. The bind is available, take it. My shoulders are feeling a little, a little tight, so I want to draw up, right? Breathing here. Exhale, unwind, setting up for Yogi Gandasan, if that's what you want today. You can just hang out here, right? Instead. So I want to reach all the way across, threading the needle all the way. And then scooch it in. Yogi Dandasan. Exhale, grasshopper. Maksik Igasana. That's what it is, I think. Reaching that right foot out. Back through center, arms to sky. Snuggle it in nice and close, right? You want to keep those toes around the arm. <laughs> I got a little too, um, too much momentum. Slow your transitions down. Plant that right shin, come onto the arms and reach that right leg back. Top of the head comes down. Finding my Garudasana legs. Twist, unwind the legs. And use your right knee to get that left knee close and to the outside. And then reach that right leg back. Left leg out to the side. Through your vinyas. Nothing else, just swing that left leg back, right? Left toes turn out, right foot steps up. Here we drop some one. And then here. And then float it out. Here we drop some three. Parvita Arda Shandrasan revolved half moon. Check out your thumb. Exhale. Snuggle that left knee behind the right. Really take your time coming down, nice and gentle. Let your spine get long rather than um, finding a kyphotic curve. I mean, you could do that if you want to stretch between the rhomboids, right? And use this to kind of work your shoulders. But really for the pose, you want to extend the left ribs towards the right. Exhale, unwind. Right arm reaches up and over. I'm gonna twist. It's like I'm bringing my arm across. Snuggle it in. Lengthen the spine already here, right? And then reach around for your knee, outside of the knee, right here. And try to let the right ribs move to the left, right? You're not punching in. You want to lift up, twist open. You can see in all directions. Staff is for support so that you can find 
you know, find your vision, right? You can live taller in the world. Nice deep inhale here as you exhale. Bring it back. Get those toes around. Left shin comes to the earth. Left leg reaching way back. Take your time, nice and gentle. Right knee snuggles around the left. And I'm gonna find my twist first. I'm gonna unwind my feet and I'm gonna use my left knee. Bring it up and then use the left knee to come in closer and twist a little more. And then stamp the back wall with your left foot. Reach the right foot out to the side. Swing it back, push down into your hands for that transition. Big toes to touch, lift the heels, bending the knees. When you're ready, feet forward. Oh. <laughs> Inhale, bend the spine, exhale, fold. Sink those hips as you bend the knees, Utkatasana, coming all the way up, forward Vastasana. Exhale, Samasthiti. Shake your hands out. Take a moment. Soften the shoulders, reach your arms out to the side, and interlace your hands behind your head. Bringing into the right foot, lift the left knee, and as you exhale, twist towards the left. Try not to hike the hip, right sit bones down, right ribs towards the left. Nice deep inhale here as you exhale, right elbow to left knee. Inhale, lift, exhale, twist. Inhale, lift, exhale, twist. Inhale, lift. Last time, oh. inhale, lift. Good, dancing Shiva. Looking at your left fingertips. Arshandrasana. Right arm down, left arm to sky. Maybe you don't need the right hand. Virabhadrasana to you. Nice deep inhale here as I exhale. I'm gonna root into the left foot, straighten the right leg and turn that right heel back, right toes in, interlacing the hands behind you. Exhale, hinging down. Reaching those arms overhead. Let the right hand come underneath the right knee. Reach that left hand around for a bind. Rolling the right ribs towards the left. And then I'm just going to try to lean over that right leg as I turn the heel back in. Baha Trikonasana. Nice deep inhale here. I'm going to float it out to Baha Ardha Chandrasana. And then step that left foot up. Holding in. Bend into your knees, you're gonna keep your clasp and coming on up for uh, Bird of Paradise, uh, Sparga Vijasana. So let the spine extend first. Right, if you're standing straight, then reach the heel out to the side. Exhale, refold. We're going to unwind the arms. And 
take Garudasana. Keep the arms, step the foot out. And shake it out and breathe into your Tadasana nice and easy. Soften the shoulders, reach the arms out to the side. Interlace the hands behind you. Rooting into the right foot, lift the left knee. Oh, no, sorry. Switch that up. Rooting into the left foot, lift the right knee. And we did four. I'm going to take a nice deep inhale here. I'm going to twist first. And as I exhale, elbow to knee, inhale lift. Exhale, elbow to knee, inhale lift. Three. Four. Coming back through center. Dancing Shiva. And then gently let go of the foot. Ardha Chandrasana. Maybe you don't need the arm on the floor. Loading it back here. Vajrasana 2. Take your time. Make sure your stance is long enough. Reach out. Remember into the right foot and straighten the left leg, turning that heel out, toes in, interlacing your hands the odd way so it feels funny. Exhale, Prasada Pada Chumnasana C. Top of the head to the floor. Spreading the collarbones, drawing the shoulders away from the ears as you reach the pinkies overhead, just so your neck is happy. And then I'm going to reach that left arm underneath. Finding a clasp, rolling the inner thighs behind me. And this is a twist, so let your left foot move towards the right. And then I'm going to extend the spine forward, turn the left heel in. As I straighten, keep the left leg straight or straighten it again. I'm going to lean over that left leg. Baha Trikonasana. Exhale, set your gaze, step that right foot in a little bit. Vaha Ardha Chandrasana. Step the right foot up. Straighten arms and legs together. Vaha Parvrita Uttanasana. And then I'm going to lift the left heel. I'm going to roll myself up. Spine is long, and I'm going to reach that left heel out to the left. Exhale, re-bend. Gently unwind the arms. Karadasana. Left knee over, left arm under. Exhale, float it out, shake it out. Mm -hmm. Let's just find a little bit of spinal extension. So you can take your hands to your low back and lengthen it. Right. I'm open my arms like a cactus, keeping the belly in tight to the spine. Shoulder blades lifting the heart on the Kasana. Take a nice deep inhale here as I exhale. Let's reach that right leg to the sky, open the hip, check out your toes, maybe find Kamat Karasan lifting the left heel, floating those right toes behind you. Nice deep inhale here as you exhale, let's step it up and let's step that uh, foot to the outside of the right hand, turning the toes out. For um, Uttana Prastasana Lizard Pose. Mm. 
and let yourself glide that foot across for pigeon prep. If you need to bring the heel into your groin, go ahead and do that. If you like a blanket outside the hip, do that. Sitting up nice and tall. Exhale, fold, undulating. And come on down. Thread the needle, reaching that right elbow, uh, right shoulder through. Maybe stack the hands, lean back. Notice how much you're folding, right? See if you can lengthen the left side waist. Roll the right ribs to stack. Exhale, come on out. Entire log pose, left shin over the right. Any arm variation you like. And I'm gonna come on up. I'm gonna reach that right hand behind me and I'm gonna reach the left arm across to the right. And bring that left forearm down. Notice as I'm forward folding, my right fingertips are on the floor. I'm gonna use them and I wanna reach my sternum over towards the top of the mat. Roll the left ribs to sky. All right, come on back to center. Breathing here. I'm gonna grab the um, left shin in, come on down, and just see if I can take that leg into a Nandavalasana. Take my left hand and connect it to my calf. Bring that left shoulder underneath, and just see what that feels like. See if it feels different than when you did it before. Keep this here as best as I can. Reaching the hands forward, reach that right leg to sky. Coming on up, I'm gonna plant the palms. Elephant trunk, Asthavakrasan. Reach the right leg back, Ekapada Kundanyasan. And maybe straight to down dog. Back with the left leg. Maybe come on to the left fingertips, hip circles. Lifting the right heel, shoulders over the wrists. See how far you want to play. Breathing here. And as I exhale, I'm going to reach that left leg back around and step into the outside for a ton of prastasana. Any variation you'd like, there are so many. You have your hands on blocks. Pigeon prep, sorry. And fold in.
head up and reach that left shoulder into the arc of the left leg. Stack the hands, lengthen the spine, try to reach out through the right side, wait and twist. Lean on to the left side, backing up for double pigeon. Fire log or sukhasana, if that doesn't work for your hips. That doesn't work for your hips. This class probably sucked <laughs> for you. I'm trying to come on forward. As I exhale, I'm just going to twist and bring the right arm across. Let that forearm come down. So what happens when you crunch in? A couple things. One, you're not extending the spine, so you're not allowing the discs between the vertebrae to get nice and long. But the other thing is, is that you're um, smashing your diaphragm, like you're crunching into your diaphragm. And so you want your breath, even though you're in a twist, you want to be able to keep the breath vibrant. Back through center. Swaddle the baby. that right hand connected to your calf and just try to bring the shoulder underneath the knee. Okay. Reaching out, reach the arms out to the side maybe. Allow that left leg to float to the sky. I'm going to take this to elephant trunk and then to Asavakrasana. So reaching on up, push down with your hands, elephant trunk, snuggle the ankle over, straighten the legs, Asavakrasana, push into your hands, bring the left heel towards your butt and reach the leg back. Ekapada Kundanyasana V through your vinyasa. Come at distance, reach the left hand across for the right ankle, calf or thigh, thigh is easier. Take that to the other side. And I'll lift my heels and spread my toes and bring the ribs to the thighs and just keep the belly scooping in. Kind of a puppy pose, right? Allow the heels to come down, draw the belly in, lengthen out the low back. Let your hands come that distance apart, maybe your feet a little wider. And we're gonna take a down dog, more Dharma Mitra style, so you're really finding your extension. Wrap your triceps towards the back of the room. Uh, let's bring the shins down. I feel like I need a back bend. Turn it up. Mm -hmm. 
Uttanasana. Find the shoulder blades to lift the heart. If you see where the wall and floor meet, you might turn your heels. Take the hips lower. And then come on up. Plant your palms. Hook the toes. Let's step that right foot between the hands. Feel the arch alignment opening up your Mjotsana tree. Reach it out, Baha Trikonasan. So, right arm's gonna reach forward and then across. Shoulder comes inside the knee, clasp the hands. Bringing over that leg as you exhale, re bend the knee. And I'm gonna unwind the hand, take my calf, uh, my uh, palm to my calf. And reach that head through, draw the hips back in. Good, exhale back through center. Straighten that right leg. Do whatever you want with it. Let's snuggle it behind the left as I find a vinyasa. Step the left foot up between your hands. Your Bajrasana two. Baha Trikonasan. Using this idea of threading the needle with the shoulders. Exhale, we bend into that left knee. The hip scooches out to the side just to give you a little bit of space. You bring the head underneath. Come back out, plant your palms. Anything you want to do. And then through. Here. Bring the feet forward. Maybe you want to find a straddle handstand and just land the feet outside the hands. Take my hands to my calves, bring those shoulders underneath, hands behind me, hug the inner knees to the outer shoulders, lift the heels. Chitibhasana. And then as I exhale, Malasana. Coming on down. Okay, so connect my letter C to my calf, find my Paravrita Ardisha, uh, my Paravrita Surya and Trasan. I'm gonna um, grab as high on the leg as possible, maybe just the toes, maybe use a strap. My knees over the shoulder, but this will work even if your knee is just over the elbow. I like to extend the left leg. Roll the right ribs to the left. Nice deep inhale here. As I exhale, I'm gonna re-bend the knee. Ekapada Shirshasana. And then from here, I'm gonna roll it down. 
soup to eight for five sure shots then. Try to get that shoulder in a little bit more. And then bring that left leg up. Grab the calf. Get that shoulder underneath. Hug the ankles together. And maybe reach through yoga nidrasana. Gently release. Ananda Balasan, happy baby. Maybe reaching one heel out and then the other. Place the sky. I'm going to reach the hands forward. Navasana, both poles. Bring the feet down. And then from here. grab the um, right foot, take my, um, connect my letter C to my calf, reach that left leg over the shoulder, grab as high on the leg as I can, this leg's harder for me. Kabracha Surya Trasana. As I exhale, I'm going to re-bend and see if I can get that shoulder underneath, reach the leg back. I'm gonna move my hair this time. Ekapadashur Shasana. Right, and I'm gonna try and keep this. Keep the chin lifted, rolling out. Fold the right leg, connect my letter C to my calf, get that shoulder underneath, and see if I can snuggle the ankles together. Breathing in. Gently release. Ananda Balasana. Reaching out with the legs. Navasana boat pose. Coming on down, let me check the time. 118. Oh, all right. I'm going to go a little light on back bends today. I don't really do much of them. Nice, comfortable seat, sitting on a blanket or a block, something. Get points higher than in our knees, and I'm just gonna find a twist. And back through center. And turn back through center. And let's work with a couple variations of um, Nadi Shodhana, balancing breath or um, alternate nostril breathing. I'm gonna use my dominant hand, index, middle finger together, and then place the thumb and ring around, not the fleshy part, but above, All right? And you can have your fingers at your third eye or folded down, whatever's more comfortable. Breathing nice and easy. to um, close left and inhale right close right exhale left nice and easy same pattern closing left inhale right close right exhale left close left inhale right Close right, exhale left. That's three. Do two more. Full 
the breath out as you gently open both nostrils and then release, inhaling, exhaling, couple recovery breaths. right inhale left close left exhale right close right inhale left close left exhale right close right inhale left close left exhale right and that's three you need two more Hold the breath out, find your lift and your pillow on your floor, throw it back as well. Gently release your thumb and index, release the chin, and release the breath. Couple recovery breaths. This next variation, you're just going to breathe in and out through the right five times. That's it. So you're going to close left, inhaling, exhaling right. the breath out as you release the hand and release your locks inhaling and exhaling a couple of recovery breaths at least two I'm replace my fingers closing the right inhaling exhaling left five times the breath out, release the fingers, release your locks, inhaling, exhaling, couple recovery breaths, and then take your hand away, stretch out your fingers, bring your hands to the floor, heels of the hands down, spreading the collarbones, and lift the heels of the hands. And then take the right hand into your left, holding the fingers back. Same thing, left side. And bring the palms together and just move my fingers. I'm gonna switch my feet because I've been here for a while and I wanna even out the body. Elbows underneath the shoulders, sitting up nice and tall. Nice easy breath and just go through those elements of distraction. If anything's needly, needling at you, being a disturbance, being a fluctuation of the mind, 
sense of nurturing kindness there. Figure out, right? Investigate with curiosity and care and tenderness. cessation of fluctuation of the mind. wrinkles in the forehead and the space between the eyebrows. for communication, especially within yourself. Allow the space around the heart to relax. Let the organs relax as you sit tall. Allow the pelvic floor to be relaxed. Flexors and knees relax, ankles relax, and feet nice and easy.
Vokram to transition into Shavasana or stay in seated meditation. Highly recommend either of those two options. You can pause the uh, video and come back. Uh, just for purposes of time, I'm going to end in Om Shanti Shanti Shanti, peace, peace, and perfect peace three times and um, Namaste. Okay, nice deep inhale in. Om Shanti 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 in, giving yourself a moment of gratitude. Namaste, Namaste again. Thanks for playing along. Have a beautiful week. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.